defined. We take the lines away. The most interesting star, I think, the, the star that could be shocking in our sky is this one, Betelgeuse or Betelgeuse. It's a red giant star. If you put it where the sun is, it would extend out to the orbit of Jupiter. It's enormous. It's very unstable. It's about to explode. No, it's about a, to... Give me the time again for that. The thing is, it could be tomorrow. It could be during this broadcast. There's a famous star you've almost certainly noticed glowing in the winter sky. It's Betelgeuse, the reddish beacon that marks Orion's right shoulder. But something strange has been happening with this stellar giant. Over the past several years, Betelgeuse has been dimming in ways astronomers didn't expect, sparking questions about whether this red supergiant might be gearing up for a spectacular finale, a supernova. Betelgeuse sits roughly 500 to 700 light years from Earth, meaning the light we see tonight actually left the star sometime during the Middle Ages. Because its exact distance isn't pinned down, there's a strange possibility to consider. Betelgeuse may already have exploded centuries ago, and the light from that cosmic blast simply hasn't reached us yet. That means its long-awaited death could appear in our sky any day now, whether that's tomorrow or thousands of years from now. When Betelgeuse finally goes supernova, it will be one of the brightest events ever witnessed in human history. So how brilliant would it become? Would it shine during the daytime? Could it threaten Earth? And why are recent observations of Betelgeuse puzzling astronomers and forcing them to rethink parts of stellar physics? The cores of massive stars like Betelgeuse are dominated by hydrogen and helium, the simplest and lightest elements in the universe. Once these fuel sources run out, the outward pressure that held the star up collapses. Gravity takes over, crushing the core and heating it until the star can no longer withstand the enormous forces building inside. That collapse rebounds as a powerful shock wave that tears through the star's outer layers, creating an explosion so bright it can momentarily outshine entire galaxies. To put this in perspective, our Sun puts out 3.8 times 10 to the 26th watts of energy. In 2015, astronomers observed an extraordinary supernova called Assay SSN 15 LAH which peaked around 2 times 10 to the 38th watts, roughly 500 billion suns, blazing at once. But Earth never saw it as a naked-eye spectacle because it happened in a distant galaxy. Betelgeuse, however, is practically next door. A supernova at that distance would be astonishingly bright, likely surpassing Sirius, the brightest star we currently see. It could remain visible for weeks or months, glowing even in daylight. But is it dangerous? A supernova would pose serious risks only if it occurred within roughly 100 light years of Earth. Within that range, harmful radiation could damage our atmosphere or surface life. Fortunately, Betelgeuse sits comfortably beyond the danger zone. For comparison, if a star as close as Alpha Centauri when supernova, about four light years away, it would shine as brightly as the full moon and bombard Earth with radiation. But Alpha Centauri isn't massive enough to ever reach that stage. Among nearby red supergiants, Betelgeuse remains the most intriguing candidate for a future explosion. And that's part of why its recent behavior has attracted so much scientific attention. One of the biggest surprises about Betelgeuse is its rotation. Observations made with the ALMA radio array revealed that the star spins far faster than expected for an object so swollen and evolved, rotating roughly once every 20 years. That means parts of its surface are whipping around at nearly 18,000 kilometers per hour, an astonishing speed for a star hundreds of times larger than our sun. To measure this, astronomers use the Doppler effect. Imagine a passing police siren. As it approaches, the pitch rises because the sound waves compress. As it moves away, the pitch drops as the waves stretch. 
The same principle works with light. On one side of Betelgeuse, the rotating surface moves toward us, its light slightly blue shifted. On the opposite side, the light is red shifted as it moves away. This gradient reveals the star's spin rate, and Betelgeuse's unexpectedly fast rotation has challenged existing theories about how red supergiants evolve. And the mystery only deepened until astronomers found a clue. In recent years, several scientific papers proposed that Betelgeuse might have a faint, close companion star, contributing to its irregular dimming patterns. The problem? Betelgeuse itself is so bright and bloated that any small neighbor would be almost impossible to see directly. That changed when a team led by NASA Ames scientist Steve Howell turned to a powerful instrument, Allopeak, the speckle imaging camera mounted on the Gemini North Telescope in Hawaii. Speckle imaging uses extremely short exposures to freeze atmospheric distortions, allowing telescopes to capture details normally blurred by turbulence. Combining that with Gemini North's massive 8.1-meter mirror provided the resolution needed to separate Betelgeuse from any nearby companion. At last, the faint blue streak beside the glowing orange giant came into focus, the first direct detection of Betelgeuse's long-suspected companion. Astronomers have proposed the name Sawarha, meaning her bracelet, a fitting tribute to the star orbiting this cosmic titan. Howell's team analyzed Sawoha's light and found it matches predictions. It's around six magnitudes fainter than Betelgeuse, about 1.5 solar masses, and a hot, bluish-white star. It orbits just four times farther from Betelgeuse than Earth is from the Sun, deep within Betelgeuse's extended atmosphere. Interestingly, Sawoha may not have even begun hydrogen fusion in its core yet meaning the Betelgeuse system contains two stars at completely different evolutionary stages, despite having formed together. And the future looks grim for the smaller star. Betelgeuse, though only about 10 million years old, is so massive that it has burned through its fuel at breakneck speed. It's nearing the end of its life cycle, while its tiny companion is only beginning its own. Two possible outcomes await Sawarha. One, Betelgeuse may gravitationally consume it within the next 10,000 years. Two, Betelgeuse could explode first, violently disrupting the companion's orbit and potentially ejecting or destroying it. Either way, Sawarha probably won't enjoy a peaceful future. Astronomers will get a clearer view of the system in November 2027, when the companion reaches maximum separation and becomes easier to observe. Until then, the discovery represents a major milestone in understanding one of the most famous stars in our sky. What do you think? Does Betelgeuse's looming fate excite you or worry you? Share your thoughts below.